echoes of the Great Commission. Harvest season is always a time of joy to farmers. Having sown, they rejoice at the harvest because it's time to reap. Matthew 9, 37 and 38 talks of the great plenteous harvest and the few laborers. Matthew 9, 37 and 38 says, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. It refers to those who are reaching out with the gospel to win souls to Christ. As a Christian, someone made it possible for you to hear and receive salvation. So what are you doing to let someone else know about Jesus? The one passion that dominated the life and ministry of Jesus while he sojourned or walked the earth was harvesting the souls of men into the kingdom of God. That was the reason he came. He came to save sinners. We are therefore instructed to emulate him. His disciples braced the trail when he instructed them to go and preach to all nations. The Great Commission is the instruction of the resurrected Jesus Christ to his disciples to spread his teachings to all the nations of the world. The most famous version of the Great Commission is in Matthew 28, 16-20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. It is an instruction or a command for soul winning and witnessing through the Holy Spirit. Acts 1.8 echoed it. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. KJV This is often than not referred today as the Great Commission, and ministers and believers are echoing this everywhere they went, propagating it while reaching out to the nations and the people of the global world. However, today, the world has become a global village, bringing communities, hamlets, villages, local governments, states, and the nations together. So large, and could we reach out to people there? How do we, however, get to the nooks and crannies of the world? We came to this world for three reasons. For the man Jesus, the message, and the mandate. The mandate is the commission to talk about Jesus and spread the message, the good news of the gospel, to the ends of the earth. However, how can we touch the ends of the earth? By the use of canoes, boats, ships, water bikes, choppers, helicopters, planes, and jets reaching out to Europe, the UK, Holland, Germany, Austria, Italy, Belgium and other countries and continents. Fulfilling the Great Commission, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motokofane now is spreading the gospel to touch every area. He now finds it easy to reach the untold with the gospel. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Motokofane has today become God's special gifts to the people and the nations of the world, including Judea, Israel and the uttermost parts of the earth. Jesus' last word to his followers hinge on what to do and what to expect. He gives us an instruction, a blueprint on what to do when he departs and before he comes again. That is the interregnum before his second coming. 
Apostle Peter started as a timid and shy preacher. But when he received the Holy Ghost, boldness and courage came upon him. And in just one preaching, 3,000 souls were won or converted to Christ. Acts 2.41 says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. The same day, there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. The one-time prosecutor of Christianity, Apostle Paul, said he was not ashamed of the gospel. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also the Greek. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Modofofain has been a busy bee, moving, traveling and traversing the world, crisscrossing and preaching the gospel to every nook and cranny of the world, touching lives, touching their culture, traditions, languages, as well as spreading love, echoing the Great Commission to all and sundry. Senior Prophet Omoto Fufeng aligns the Great Commission to the slogan of his ministry, bringing the light of God upon the nations. This can be seen in Genesis 1-3. Taking the good news of the Word of God to the people and nations of the world, four continents of the world, within and without, including Abuja, Ghana, Italy, Austria, Germany, and so on, converting sinners to God through faith, witnessing, and empowerment. He's reaching out to the gospel from the top to the grassroots, using the top-bottom approach. Testimonies abound as the people are being witnessed to. 1 Timothy 1.12 says, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. It gives us not only light, but also life for living. 2 Corinthians 3.6 says, He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of a letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. God has really blessed him, and today he occupies a land known as Mercy City, a land of Canaan and transformation, with features reflecting biblical times like the mountains and the pool of Bethesda. Aside from spreading God's gospel, he also demonstrates God's power, healing the sick, setting captives free, and the demon possessed. In fact, demons are scared because of the Holy Spirit in him. This talks about the capacity of sharing God's word and publishing his works to every city, hamlet, home, and fulfilling his dreams, plan, or mandate to all mankind. Our God is globally minded. 
and is using today's technology to spread the message, not only by travels, the use of TV, radio, the social media, and new versions of the Bible are part of it. You need to be part of God's plan and making a global impact in readiness for Christ's second coming. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Modofufen has been blessed by God and he wants to be a blessing to mankind by reaching out, impacting or ordaining sons and daughters who will in turn spread it further by being part of the commission, resounding or echoing it like an unending stream. Those are the echoes of the Great Commission that ministers, disciples, evangelists, prophets, pastors, and believers alike are spreading today to the ends of the earth, reaching out to the untold, the glorious news of the kingdom. Jesus wants us to finish what he started, building people to be the salt of the earth and the lights 